Sorry to have called you back so suddenly, but I thought you should know about this as soon as possible. Take a look at this map. This is a map of Akiba. But what are the points you placed on it? Those are the locations of all known Synthester incidents thus far. Wow, nice work. This is why you're the dependable one. Your brother never could have put that together. Oh, come on. I totally could have. Just because I don't always work hard doesn't mean I can't. So, what did you find out? The incidents are all contained within a near perfect circle around Akihabara Station. Every single attack has taken place within a 400 meter radius of that one spot. Oh, whoa, so what you're saying is... What are you saying exactly? Mm. Well, I'm still not entirely certain about anything, of course. But a distinct pattern like this may be the smoking gun that tells us why Akiba was targeted. Hmm, you got a point. If all that mattered was having lots of people around, they could have picked Shinjuku, or Ikebukuro, or hell, downtown Tokyo. Exactly. And if we can determine the reason Akiba was chosen, we might have an easier time figuring out how to put a stop to all this. Right. So what is it about Akiba that you can't find anywhere else? Mm, maids? Or fan comics, maybe? There's a lot around here you can't find anywhere else. That's all we have to go on. We're not much better off than before. Hmm. I received a mail from Ms. Kasuga. Oh? What about? Let's see. It says, Help! In alley near suit shop on Main Street. What? If Miss Kasuga is in trouble, we have to go save her. Hold it! How do we know this isn't a trap? That is a distinct possibility. But she's specifically asking for our help. We can't just ignore her. We could send you to scope things out. What do you think, sis? Would that work? You mean by himself? Yeah. That way, even if it is a trap, he can probably deal with it. You sure you're willing to take this on all by yourself? It's a lowly minion's duty to throw himself into harm's way in times like these. Okay, just stop right there. I'm going with you. That way, you've got someone watching your back if anything happens. If the two of you go out there together, I'm betting something's gonna happen, all right. <laughs> huh? What? Uh, no. What the hell, Pops? I'm just messing with you. Don't worry. Anyway, if you get the feeling you're walking into a trap, come on back right away. And be careful, okay? Damn it, that was not funny. Come on, let's go. Over here! Hurry! Ah, you must have gotten my email. Glad you could make it. So, what's the... Uh... The problem? Well... I found her! She's over here! As you can see, I'm being rather fervently pursued. And I was hoping beyond hope that you'd come to my rescue. Ooh, huh? Let's go! <laughs> 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 
over with. Much obliged. I was on my way to Mogro when I found myself completely surrounded. I had nowhere else to turn. So what the hell did they want? Hmm? You look a bit winded already. Hey, give me a break. We were attacked out of nowhere. Just answer the question, okay? Once we're somewhere else, yes, of course I can. Shall we say back at Mogro? Ugh, fine. Whatever. Come now, let's be off.
So wait, you're saying there was a freaking revolt at your office and you got muscled out? Not quite muscled out, per se. I stepped down of my own free will. It seems I stumbled upon some creative bookkeeping from one particular group within the company, and they didn't much care for the attention. A revolt, huh? You got any idea who might have called the shots? Sakaguchi, maybe? Our managing director. You've met him. Or don't you remember? He is rather easy to forget. Not much of a presence, that one. Oh yeah, that guy who came to pick you up. He seemed kind of tweaked out. Koma Sakaguchi. I've been keeping an eye on him myself. His name's right under yours on my list, Shion Kasugai. And if there's embezzlement going on, you can bet it's being funneled right into the organization. To think that little twerp would be in this deep, though. The group that was chasing me earlier were all Sakaguchi's people. I ask you, is it really such a threat for little old me to be wandering the streets of Akihabara? Sadly, I wasn't able to find out anything about the Synthester's drugs. Perhaps they're one of Sakaguchi's pet projects he doesn't like to talk about. So what will you do now, Miss Kasugai? Well, fortunately I've been receiving offers from numerous colleges and research labs. So I have options to mull over for my future at the very least. Of course, that's after we sort out this whole Synthester mess. And until we do sort it out, I'd very much like to be a part of your group. I'm deeply curious to see how far the Synthester's influence has spread. And while we're finding that out, I may be able to help you in some small way. So you... want to join the Freedom Fighters? Don't tell me I don't meet your requirements. I have a certificate of residence from Chiyoda City if it helps with the paperwork. Nah, scraps of paper don't mean a thing here. All you need to join us is a love for Akiba deep in your heart. Well, in that case, I'm perfectly qualified. Even if I don't quite look the part. She is here pretty much all the time lately. I don't see any problem letting her join, do you? Hey, why the hell not? Welcome aboard. Now that you're one of us, what do you say we drop the formalities and just call you Shion? That would be lovely. Thank you. All right, we're one stronger now. So let's get back out there and do some damage. Man, first Rin, now Shion. The Freedom Fighters keep growing and growing. Oh, hey, are we gonna throw a welcome party for the new people? I'll have to decline on that. Yes, with things as they are, I don't think it would be appropriate. I believe I'll put in for an extended stay at a nearby hotel for the time being. Ooh, that sounds so nice. I'd love to live in a hotel for a while sometime. Didn't you once tell me you can only sleep on Japanese futons, though? The hotels around here are all Western style, with beds. Oh, yeah. Probably wouldn't be able to get any rest at all in that case. Hey, Toko, I can't get through to your phone. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My phone can't hold a charge anymore, so it usually dies around this time of day. What? Let me see that. Whoa! This thing is ancient, like National Treasure ancient. You raid a museum or something? It's not that old. I bought it when I first got into junior high school. That was seven years ago. By cell phone standards, ancient is definitely the right word here. Oh? If that's the case, then how on earth have you been using the Synthester app I gave you? I've been lending her the shop phone. Only when she goes out on patrols, though. Day, why would you not upgrade yourself to a smartphone? Huh? Well, I only use my cell phone for email, and I probably wouldn't get the hang of using one of those things anyway, you know? But if you had one, you could view video websites and play on many different apps. It's all very convenient. Well, I don't know. I'm so used to this one. I bought a smartphone. I have it right here. What? You too? Jeez, I really am out of the loop. If 
you want to pick out a smartphone for yourself, you two should go together. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You know the market, right? I always see you checking for deals. All right, I'll do it. I'll replace my cell phone. In fact, I might as well strike while the iron is hot. I'm going right now. You with me? Sounds like this is a good time for some phone shopping then, shall we? Come on, let's do this. You've got 40 seconds to get ready and the clock's ticking. We'll go to the soft map on Main Street, I guess. Finally gonna join the ranks of the smartphone, huh? Guess I'm moving up in the world. Pretty heavy stuff. I've been using dumb phones practically all my life, so I wonder if I'll even be able to figure the damn thing out. Huh? You will? Well, I might take you up on that then, if I get stuck with anything. Thanks. Dude, there sure are a lot of models to choose from. I have no idea which one to buy. They all look pretty much the same to me. Hmm. Oh, hey, how about this one? I like the color and the price tag. Must be an older model, but I'm okay with not getting the newest one. As long as I can use it, that's what counts, you know? Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to ask. You seem like you weren't feeling too well last time we were out. Are you feeling any better now? You're not still feeling like crap, are you? If anything comes up, you know you can always just say so. I know you like to keep it to yourself. You've been that way ever since you were little. But if you're in pain, please let me know. If you're hurting, I'll always hear you out, okay? That's what old friends are good for. You can forget about what other people think and just say whatever's on your mind. You bet. And if you do start to get all woozy again, just remember. You've got a bowl of the Soggy Saka family's secret rice porridge coming your way. And I'm gonna make you eat every last bite. All right, the smartphone of my dreams is now in my hands. Now I can use the Synthester app on my own without having to borrow the store phone from Pops. And I can check Pitter whenever I want, too. Sucks that it wouldn't let me transfer the phone numbers or email addresses from the old one, though. Can you believe they actually told me the phone I was using was too old to data link or whatever? That just seems like bad customer service to me. Not the end of the world, though. I just have to put them all in again and I'll be good to go. Might as well christen the thing with your number as a thank you for all your help today. Mm -hmm. The honor is all yours, I assure you. So, uh, is this how you enter a phone number? It's strange not having buttons. I don't feel the push when I hit the digits. It's kind of weirdly unsatisfying. Okay, got your email address too. So I think we're good to go. Let's head back. I really hope things get better for this town. It may not exactly gel with my interests, but I still love Akiba. And its people too. As an Akiba freedom fighter, I have to make sure I really give it my all, protecting everything this place stands for. Man, I feel psyched now. We got what we came for. So what do you say we head back to Mogra? <laughs>